But Bashar, you're an Amazon FBA seller and coach. Of course, you're going to say that, you know, selling on Amazon is still viable. Sure. I mean, that, that probably I have some bias there and that there's probably some truth to it. But there is a reason why I personally have been selling on Amazon for the last six years and I've been on the platform and haven't, haven't done anything else. I personally don't have any stocks. I don't have any crypto. Um, we have some of our students that paid us in crypto. That's the only crypto that the company holds. I personally don't hold any. I don't have any investments. I'm not in real estate. I'm not really in anything. I just reinvest money back into scaling our Amazon business. And then the methods that I learned from there, I teach our students. So you might be thinking right now, well, you know, Amazon FBA has been going around for many different years. And, um, you know, there are a bunch of gurus running around teaching it. And it's probably so saturated. Then you're 100% sure. I mean, 100% true. If I were to go back to five, six years ago, and I first started selling on Amazon 2015, 2016, there was definitely a lot less buyers. But see, one thing, one story that I tell everybody over and over and over again is, I remember in the first year I was in the USA, 2006, um, Thanksgiving was you know, happening in Black Friday. And I remember driving past um, Best Buy and I was just confused because it was Detroit and it was about 11, 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. And um, there was a line out the door around the block and it was snowing and it was freezing. And to me coming from Iraq, you know, that kind of weather was insane because I've never seen snow in my life. But seeing people sleeping on the streets, they didn't look homeless to me. They looked like decent people, you know, dressed in normal clothes. So I asked my uncle, I said, hey, what's going on here? Why are all these people outside? And he said, he started explaining to me, so the first Thanksgiving ever, so he started explaining to me Black Friday and so on and so forth. And I understood that. And then over the years, I've just watched the, and that was Best Buy, by the way, over the years, I've watched that line get shorter and shorter and shorter. And what I've realized is more and more people shop online. I personally used to only shop in stores. I have a pretty weird body. If you follow me, you've probably seen, got a big head, small shoulders, especially when it came to clothes, I had to go in and try it, you know, otherwise it just, I, I couldn't just wear anything. And I had a big stomach. It was just weird. The whole situation was weird. Right. So to me, I, I never trusted, you know, online shopping. Like I was like, who is this person that's going to ship me these products? Where are they coming from? Right. So I had to go down to the store, but then over the years, especially after I actually got involved with Amazon and saw how easy it was for customers to buy. And especially after COVID, I realized that my shopping habits have completely transformed from retail to online. And over time, that only actually increases. You know, my retail shopping decreases, my online shopping increases. So one thing they have to understand is, yes, there are definitely a bunch of new sellers on Amazon today than there was. In fact, just in 2020 alone, 1.2 million new sellers joined the Amazon platform, right? But then the good news is that if you know what you're doing, if you've got a proven formula, they don't stand a chance because guess what? We have 2,500 students and we are one of the best and largest, if not the best and largest online education company for Amazon. And we only have 2,500 students. We've been in business for two years. Can you imagine 1.2 million new sellers, what they're doing and where they're getting their information from. I get it. There's hundreds and thousands of YouTube videos for free that people can watch. Uh, they don't necessarily need to enroll in BJK University or any other you know, coaching program for that matter. But how good are these videos? How detailed are they? You know, you're watching this video. It's a great video, but is it really showing you step-by-step step on how to sell on Amazon? And maybe, you know, this one, probably not, but other videos probably are in my channel. But can you really put them all in order? Are you missing some things? What if we're not giving you everything? What if we're not showing you everything because we want you to enroll in our university, right? What if that is that is the case, right? And, and that's the case with hundreds of thousands of sellers out there. So if you have what they don't have, you can definitely crush them. That's what I'm trying to tell you here. So is it saturated? It's absolutely saturated. 
it's a lot more saturated than it was, but there's also a lot more buyers on the platform today than there ever has been on the platform. And we have students until this day enrolling and making tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands. Now, no, it's not easy. It was probably a lot easier before, but it's also a lot easier than the traditional business because let's face it, what else are you gonna do? 51% of all online sales happen on Amazon. Your other option would be say you've got a job and then you want to start an online business. What are your options? You could do stocks, you could do affiliate marketing, you could go into crypto, you could go into drop shipping, right? Like on Shopify. So let's look at those four things. If you do stocks, definitely lower barrier to entry, but also that means when it's low, lower barrier to entry, that means more people are trying to do it. And you don't really control the outcome. You control the, the inflow, but not the outflow. Because stocks, and I think stocks and, and crypto kind of both are on the same page because they are manipulated by someone's tweet, someone's little action. Cristiano Ronaldo moved a can of Coke from here to here and grabbed a bottle of water and Coca-Cola stock dropped by $3 billion or something like that, right? Elon Musk will send the tweet out and all of a sudden crypto will go up or it will come crashing down. You can't afford to do that. You've got bills to pay, right? So those two are out the window. What's the other thing? Affiliate marketing. That's cool. You don't have that much money to invest because you're technically selling someone else's product. So you could become an affiliate, for instance, for a BJK University. You drive traffic to BJK University. But what if BJK University goes to shit? What, what if we are a bunch of scammers? We've been in business for two years. We've been able to cover it. And then we're just going to make $20, $30 million and then vanish. What are you going to do, right? It's your reputation on the line. Again, you cannot control the outflow. You can control the inflow, not the outflow. With selling on Amazon, it's a real business, just like any other business. Like if you owned a restaurant, if you owned a, um, you know, a, a clothing uh, company or whatever it is, right? You control the, in the inflow, you control the outflow. But the cool thing about it is that unlike a traditional business, you don't need hundreds of thousands of dollars to start. Unlike any other business, you don't need tens of employees. You can run it remote from anywhere in the world. And you can also start with as little as 10,000 or sometimes even less, where a traditional business, you'll need 50, 60, 100, 150, 200,000 to get it started, right? And then Amazon has built this massive platform and massive supply chain that will simply help you in the process of storing, fulfilling orders, doing customer service, everything. Where, for instance, when I owned a restaurant, I had to do all of it. I had to shop the food, bring it over to the restaurant, clean it, prep it, cook it, serve it to the customer, clean after them. Usually three to five team members were involved in that transaction just to sell a sandwich and a beer. So you got to look at your options first, right? What are my options? Are you, are you late to the game? You're not early, that's for sure, but you're not late. The train hasn't left. The train has definitely moved. You know, and I don't know, you know, and it's starting to pick up and I don't know how much longer it's going to be here, but it hasn't left, right? You can definitely catch on. Again, it's more saturated than it was three, four, five years ago, but there is a lot more potential still. And there are a lot more buyers coming into Amazon every single day requiring new, uh, they all have new uh, desires and they all have new wants and new needs. That means new product ideas. That means more money for the sellers. And just to remember, 51% of all online sales happen on Amazon. And the fact that people's shopping habits are moving online, Amazon sellers are going to capture that. And also do remember one more thing is that over 63% of Amazon sellers make between 75000 and 300,000 per year, and over 25% make over 500,000 per year. So, you know, you could be part of the 25%, or you could be even part of the 63%. What's wrong with that? An extra $75,000 per year added to your income. I think that's a decent win. So, look, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, at the bottom of this, there is a little uh, um, link that'll take you to a uh, small workshop. You can watch and find out if our team can help you. 
Aside from that, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.